Thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem, finding the value of x and y. And uh, from here, we can rewrite this and say we call this one again as 2 raised to the power x, then all raised to the power 2 over 2. It's just as if we have not done anything there because 2 over 2 here is still, you know, 1. And then we have minus, same thing with 3 raised to the power y. Then we can also raise that to 2 over 2 and then uh, equals to 12 on this side. Then it's just as if we have not done anything to that. Then let's apply law of uh, indices here. So when we have a raised to power m, then raised to power n, you know this can be written as a raised to power mn, and also we can write it as a raised to power n, then raised to power m. So we can interchange this power, why? Because they multiply each other. And when we apply this here now, so we can bring one of the power inside and leave, you know, one. So that we write this one as 2 raised to the power x over 2, taking this one inside, then leaving this outside, then minus, we have the same thing here, we have 3 raised to the power y over 2, leaving the other one outside, then we will equal to 12. Now, from here, this is what we have. Then to make our work easier, we can use a letter to represent this. Let's say let a be equals to 2 raised to power x over 2 and let b be equals to 3 raised to power y over 2. So it will make this one you know easier to write. We now say we have a squared minus b squared will be equals to 12. Now from here we have an identity difference of 2 square which when we have difference of 2 square, we can write it as a plus b, you know, multiplied by a minus b, and it will give us 12. Now, let's use something here. These two numbers multiplied and give us 12. We can split 12 into two factors. Remember that these two numbers are positive integers. We are expected to have a number greater than 1 in both cases. And then, since we have a plus b, a plus b must be greater than a minus b. So from here, when we split 12, we can split 12 to 4 times 3. It implies that 4 is greater than 3. And the first one is now equivalent to 4. And this a minus b equivalent to 3. So we now have this as a plus b times a minus b when equals to this. So when we equate, you know, the first that is a plus b as 4. And we equate a minus b as 3. Then we can solve these two equations. We can solve for any one first. So when we solve eliminating, okay, let's add. When we add, we have 2a. b has gone. When we add, b will be 0. So we have 7 here. That means a, our a is equal to 7 over 2. Our a is 7 over 2. Then to get b, because we also need the value of b, we can use one of the equation. Using equation, the first equation here, we have a plus b equals to 4. And our a is 7 over 2 plus b, which is equals to 4. We can clear the fraction. We have 2 as the SCM here. Used to, to multiply through, we have 7 plus 2b plus equals to 8. So when we, you know, take 7 to that side, remain 2b here, that's 2b equals to 8 minus 7, which is 1. So that means 2b is equals to 1. Our b will now be equals to 1 over 2. So we have the value of a and the value of b now. So a equals to 7 over 2. Let's find, uh, let's use a now. Since we say our a is 2 raised to power x over 2 so we can write it again and say this for the first one a which is 2 raised to the power x over 2 will then be equal to 7 over 2 now we want to get the value of x from here and uh, we can just write this one back in a logarithm form so when we write this in logarithm form now we are going to have 
the power which is x over 2 now will then be equals to log 7 over 2 then base 2 so changing from index form to logarithm form we have that and uh, you know we can since we are finding x we can multiply both sides by 2 so as to cancel these two so when we multiply both sides by 2 we have x left here equals to 2 times that's 2 log 7 over 2 then base 2 and uh, we can of course write it again and say this is 2 don't forget that we have division here and then we can separate it into two log but before then we can say this is log 7 over 2 then divided by log 2 that is using change of base there and then which we can write as x equals to 2 log 7 minus log 2 over log 2 so we have the value of x like this and when we solve this from the calculator our x will give us approximately 3.6 so the approximate answer of x is 3.6 then as well for the value of b we got b to be equals to 1 over 2 and we represented b as 3 raised to power y over 2 so we say 3 raised to power y over 2 equals to half same thing as you know finding y here now we can change this one from index to logarithm form we have the power which is y over 2 equals to log what is here that is half then v3 so from there we can see that also from here when we multiply both sides by 2 2 we cancel to here so we have y equals to 2 log 1 over 2 v3 that is, we can write it again as it is y equals to 2 log half over log 3. Change of this. Then from there, we can also separate this and we have y equals to applying the you know division log. We have 2 into bracket log 1 minus log 2 then over log 3. And when we use calculator for this, the approximate answer we get here is y equals to minus 1.26. Then we got this value of y. Now we can check when we slot in these values into the equation given. We see that we get something near to what you know we have. And we have come to the end of this you know, problem. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share. We say thank you. See you in the next class. And bye for now.